Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. We are here in Marilla, Michigan. We're at an old cemetery today where a lot of the original settlers from this area are buried and also their families down through the years. I want to read a scripture. My, my heart was thinking about this as I was reading headstones. You know how people do when they visit a graveyard. Here's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. And we'll read verses 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and be trodden under foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's really all we're going to leave, ladies and gentlemen. I'm standing in this old cemetery, and th these people were the salt of the earth in their time. They were the light of their world. Just like you and I as Christians today are the salt of the earth in 2020, and the light of the world in 2020. It's not so much that we are the light. Jesus said he was the light of the world. He also said we are. How is that? Well, we are to reflect him. It's kind of like the moon reflecting the light from the sun. And so that's all we really leave when we go. And one day, unless the rapture takes place, and it's very possible that it could take place in our lifetime. But if not, I will be laying somewhere where in the condition that they're at right now. My soul and my spirit will be in heaven with the Lord, but my body will await the resurrection. And all I can do, all I can do as I go through life is reflect Him, His light, to be the light of the world in my generation. To be the salt of the earth, but man, let's keep our flavor so that our salt can actually season the culture and the society that we're living in today for Jesus Christ. I just want to encourage you, those of you that are so faithful and kind that you watch these devotions, let your flavor increase. Let your light shine brighter. Reflect the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. How do I do that, Brother Paxton? Spend time with Him. Spend time in the Word. Spend time fellowshipping with Jesus, and you'd be surprised what God will do with your life in these days that we're living in. Man, we're in the final hours, friends. I really believe that, truly. I know people have been saying that ever since I got saved in 1981, but man, the, the signs are all lining up right now. And I want to be used of God to leave a mark on planet Earth for Christ. I don't want to live for myself and be selfish and self-focused. I want to reach out to others with the good news of the gospel. That's my encouragement to you today. I pray that God will use you as he's never used you before. And you will be amazed at the miracles he will do in your life. God bless you today as we travel on down the road to the next stop. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.